Hello everyone, today we will do such a cool thing. This is a fairly powerful metal detector, but its production will not take much time, and all the parts for its assembly are quite affordable and not at all scarce. Therefore, if you haven't subscribed to the Invex Lab channel yet, then click the subscribe button and let's get started. The metal detector that we will assemble today is a well known and well proven metal detector pirate. Despite a fairly simple scheme, it has excellent indicators. For example, it can detect large metal at a depth of up to one and a half meters. Let's go right from words to deeds. In the previous video, I showed in detail the entire process of making a printed circuit board. In this video, I will not stop there, and immediately start with soldering the parts. Capacitors C1 and C2 for 100 nanofreds each. You need to take film, because they are thermally stable. If you take other capacitors, their parameters will change when the ambient temperature changes. Because of this, the sensitivity of the metal detector may decrease slightly. At first, as you can see, I started soldering with a very powerful soldering iron. But then I changed my mind and took a normal soldering iron. For the case of metal detectors, I picked up this cute box. The lithium ion battery is perfectly placed here. There will be three of them so that the output will be 12 volts. This part will contain the metal detector board and other necessary components. But first of all, I will fix the variable resistors in this box. I fixed the metal detector speaker on the top cover. In the case of the metal detector, I will also attach the headphone jack and the switch. Here I have previously made holes for them, and now it remains only to fix them. All the preparatory work is done. Now I will assemble the metal detector into one whole structure. At first, I wanted to fix the metal detector body to the pipe using screws, but then I replaced them with rivets. The wires that go to the coil, I passed inside the pipe.
for this metal detector. I have collected a small addition. This is a low battery indicator. That is, when the battery voltage reaches a certain level, the red LED will light up. This indicator I set up so that the LED lights up when the battery is low to 9.7 volts. All the wires I connected according to the scheme and fixed them in the housing with thermal glue, so that there was no mess. The rod for the metal detector I will make from scraps of PVC pipe. In my case, this is a 15 mm pipe. Perhaps it would be better to use a 20 mm pipe, as it is a little stiffer, but now due to the quarantine, it is not possible to purchase anything from a construction store. For the same reason, I don't have 45 degree angles that I wanted to use to make the handle more comfortable. So I want to try connecting the pipes back to back. That is, heat them and connect them. Let's see what happens. Will this connection be hard? As you can see, the connection turned out to be quite strong. The metal detector is almost ready. All I have to do is make a search coil for it. I've been thinking about what to make it out of. And finally settled on plywood. From 3x millimeter plywood I cut out such a strip 5 millimeters wide and now I will glue this strip together such a circle. The diameter of the circle is approximately 20 centimeters. The base for the coil is ready, here I slightly strengthened the joint, and then rewound the whole thing with blue duct tape, so everything will be clearly held. Well, now I will fix the beginning of the wire here and try to carefully wind 25 turns. There is one, 24 more to go, though I am already tired. The coil is ready. At first I wanted to fix the winding with another plywood rail. But then I decided that it would be enough to put a cable sheath on this coil. It turned out something like a coil and it only remains to rewind it with duct tape. Well, now the coil is completely ready and, as I think, it turned out just fine. It remains only to fix it on the rod of the metal detector, I haven't figured out how to do this yet. To fix the search coil, I made a small cut in the pipe here. The coil will be located here. Then I'll add a couple of slats for rigidity. I think this will be quite enough to keep the coil tight.
I fixed the coil, and now it remains to glue these slats. So, the metal detector is ready. I'll turn it on now. This will be the first inclusion in this fully assembled form. The first 15-20 seconds the metal detector enters its working state. So you always need to wait for these 15-20 seconds when turning on. It works great. Now I'll check it out on the street, because there's only one metal around here and it works on almost everything. Let's see at what distance it can detect various metal objects. Now let's check the sensitivity of this metal detector. I will conduct several experiments to find out at what depth it can find objects of different diameters. Let's start with a 5 ruble coin. Visually, about 20 centimeters. This metal detector sees a 5 ruble coin at a distance of approximately 20 25 centimeters at maximum sensitivity. And this is very good. The next find is a section of profile pipe. Visually, 45 centimeters. This is a section of the profile pipe that this metal detector can detect at a distance of 45 centimeters. The next find is the cover from the DVD player. It starts to work, approximately, from 70 centimeters, and from 50 centimeters a reliable signal is already heard, with 50 centimeters signals very clearly. This is really cool stuff, now all the metal will be mine. It turned out to be a really cool and sensitive metal detector. In the following videos, I will test it in the field. Let's see what I can find with this metal detector. If you are interested in seeing what happens, then subscribe to the Invex Lab channel so that you don't miss the new video. Well, if you like this video and this metal detector, then click like. I thank you for viewing and bye. Today we will do such a cool thing. This is a metal detector. If you didn't know. 
can detect large metal in the ground. It can detect metal in the ground. This is amazing. I thought he could only find metal in the air. I'll run some experiments and try to find. I'll try to find a coin in my pocket. The first stage was successful. I found a coin in my pocket. Currently due to the quarantine, it is not possible to buy anything in a construction store. For the same reason, I won't. I won't buy anything. You will also have to replace the nominal value of some. What did I say? This is unbelievable. 